first, I would like to explain a bit about history of LRFS Earn Model. The LRFS Earn Model was introduced by Tatjana and Paul LRFS to study the second law of thermodynamics. This model was first proposed as a model for the depletion of non reacting gases in early 90s. Next, the application of LRFS Earn Model. This model has played an important role in clarifying the foundation of statical mechanics. Providing an interpretation of irreversibility in a statistical manner, at the beginning of 20th century, such a simple model was useful in explaining heat exchange between two bodies at unequal temperature where the temperature are mimicked by the number of the balls in each box and the heat exchange become a random process. Manifest and model is basically a movement of a molecular diffusion through a membrane. We can describe this movement by using a little bit of applied probability and the discrete Markov chains. Let's say we have two containers of the same size, separated by a permeable membrane, as you can see from the figure above. It consists of N identical molecules, both containing container A and container B. In each step, one molecule will move to another container, and the probability crossing the container is equal. To study the model, Aaron first used urns and ball to describe a membrane and a molecule respectively. Suppose we have two urns that are same size, labeled A and B. If we let the total number of balls be N, then we have I balls in urn A and N minus I balls in urn B. In every step, one ball that are choose randomly will move to another urn and the probability crossing the urn is equal. So we have uh, PI I plus 1 represent the probability a ball entering urn A and PI I minus 1 represent the probability a ball entering urn B and leaving urn A. As we know, one ball will move in a step, therefore the probability is 1 over n. So we have balls entering n a, have a probability n minus i over n since there are n minus i balls in n b. And balls entering n b and leaving n a have a probability i over n since there are i balls in n a. Over time, the balls in both n will mix equally. That means both n will have both color of ball. However, since the ball will continue to move, be replaced and peak, then the ball may go to the original state again. Okay, so the reverse urn model in Markov chain is of discrete type. So suppose we have two urns, urn 0 and urn 1. So the total number of balls in both urn is denoted by M and the number of balls in urn 1 at time N we denoted as Xn. Of course, the number of balls in urn 0 at time N will be M minus Xn. Okay, so uh, the X is a discrete time Markov chain on state space S with transition probability P given by uh, probability of a ball moves out of urn 1 PI I minus 1 is equals to I over M and the state I moves to state J which is I minus 1 this means that a ball is lessened by 1 in urn 1 okay, the probability of a ball moves into urn 1 is given by PI I plus 1 is equals to M minus I over M uh, where state I uh, go to state J, I plus 1. This means that uh, a ball is increased by 1 in N1. Okay, so the transition probability matrix phi uh, represents the each state of system in N1 uh, formed by the uh, formula. See, uh, proving the above equation of the transition probability, so we let Vn be the ball selected at time N. And so the V is uh, V1, V2, V3 and so on is a sequence of independent random variables given the formula xn plus 1 where xn minus 1 uh, uh, where vn plus 1 is less than or equals to vn which means that when the number of balls is less than by 1 the ball selected uh, in the future vn plus 1 will be less than equals to the ball selected at time n vn the number of balls xn plus 1 where, uh, where the number of balls is increased by 1 the future selection of the ball Vn plus 1 will be more than uh, the ball selected at time N Vn where N is the element of uh, N Next is the problem solving In this question, we need to determine the transition matrix for this Markov chain and then we need to find the limiting distribution for the matrix Phi So, step 1 is to find its transition probability for the first formula is the probability a ball leaves urn A. So the formula is P I I minus 1 equals to I over M. So the second formula that we use is the probability of a ball enters an A, which is P I I plus 1 equals to M minus I over M. So the first case is case I equals to 0. 
For this case, there is only one possibility which is a ball enters an E. So we get P 0 1 4 minus 0 over 4 equals to 1. For the next case which is case I equals to 1, there are two possibilities which are a ball enters an E and a ball leaves an E. When a ball enters an E, we have I equals to 1, J equals to 2. So, the probability that we get is P12 equals to 4 minus 1 over 4 equals to 3 over 4. When a ball leaves an E, we get the probability P10 equals to 1 over 4. For the next case, case I equals to 2, we also get two possibilities which are a ball leaves an E and a ball enters an E. When a ball enters an E, we get the probability P23 equals to 4 minus 2 over 4 equals to 2 over 4. When a ball leaves an E, we get P23 equals to 2 over 4. The next case, case I equals to 3, we also get two possibilities. When a ball enters an E, we get the probability P34 equals to 4 minus 3 over 4 equals to 1 over 4. When a ball leaves an E, we get P32 equals to 3 over 4. For the last case, which is case I equals to 4, we have only one possibility, which is a ball leaves an E. So, the probability of a ball leaves an E is P43 equals to 4 over 4. If we will get the answer for transition probability for step 1, which is pi. The second part of the question asks us to find for the limiting distribution. Since we already find the transition probability matrix in step 1, we can use the transition probability matrix in order to solve our limiting distribution. What we need to do is to multiply the pi matrix with the transition probability matrix in order to obtain our values for pi naught until pi L. Once we do the matrix multiplication, we will get the following 5 equation. And we can solve this 5 equation by using our basic mathematical skill which is simultaneous equation method. What we did to easily solve this equation was we made one of the unknown as the subject. Here, we chose pi1 as our subject, which means we made pi0, pi2, pi3, and pi4 in form of pi1. Once we did that, we can substitute all of the values in our first equation, which was summation of pi0 until pi4 is equal to 1. Once you do that, we will get the value for pi1, which is equal to 1 over 4. Using the value of pi1, we can find the rest of the unknowns by substituting the value of pi1 which means we have completed our limiting distribution. And if you look at the pattern of the vector, we can see it is in the form of binomial distribution. If we are still not clear of the pattern, we can look at the bell-shaped graph. The highest peak refers to the pi2 value, which is the OA, which means here in the system, pi2 value is the highest, which shows that the number of balls in both the urns are equal, which means there is two balls in urn A and two balls in urn B. This value also shows that there is a rapid movement in both the urns, which shows that this system has achieved its equilibrium state. As for the conclusion, we can conclude that a Rumpfus model is one of the classical Markov chain that can be used to describe many natural processes such as gas diffusion. So, we can say that there are many methods of solution and applications that can be found through this model. Through this model, the transition probability matrix and also its limiting distribution can be calculated. Since a reference a model has equilibrium distribution, and this thing we can relate it with one of the most basic principles of Islam, which is balances and equilibrium. There is one verse in the Quran that we can relate with balances and equilibrium. The verse is from Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 143. The word community of the middle way from the verse can be interpreted as a call to moderation in every aspect of life.